Well, it's always nice to see things come to a conclusion. When Council passed the Parks and Pathways bylaw, they passed it with a clear intention to honour, I think, the wishes of most Calgarians. And so I think it's good to see the court validate that the city's laws are reasonable and it's nice to see those come back into play and the park return back to its intended purpose. How worried are you that this is not simply going to be going in and putting a couple of handcuffs on people and leading them off, that it's going to be worse than that? Um, you know, to date, and, and the judge in his order does, I think, uh, make it quite clear that uh, there has been peaceful interaction to date. We've both been respectful of rights and, uh, and uh, use of force, and I hope that continues. That, uh, you know, again, bearing in mind the judge is also very clear that there is a criminal charge weight to his order. And I'm hoping people understand the consequences of that. Why is this all such a big deal? Well, again, because it goes outside the intended purposes of the park. And, and the bylaw is quite clear in its preambles why we have a bylaw, what the park is for, and it exceeds those purposes. It's not a question about the percentage of park you're using. It's, uh, you know, for want of better terms, it's, it's like not being a little bit pregnant. It's a violation of the bylaw. And it's not based on how many square feet, it's based on whether it's one person in the park after hours or 100, it's the same offense.